Today with Anne Valerie, we're really kind of making lots of really beautiful fine layers, really building up a kind of wash of just gentle colour. What we've done is basically kind of three different washes of colour. When they walk down a catwalk, essentially it looks really glowing, then to the side you get a bit pink and then they kind of like catch the sun and it's, it's just got that really kind of very poetic, gentle kind of wash of colour and it all looks really like it's kind of just burnished into the skin so there's no definite blusher, definite eye shape, they all meld into each other but it feels completely like it's natural. Today we are making beautiful tomboys. So um, we're, you know, we're working with that natural, cool texture of a of a girl that Anne loves. But we wanted to add some type of plaits or braids to um, to keep the hair off the face, but keep it kind of cool and, and tomboyish. I couldn't just do braids, so just to mix it up, we're just tying knots in the hair, which gives it a little bit more of a irregularity to it. I wanted to show you the, the shoes because the shoes we put them in um, silver. So, do you know these baby shoes? When you want to keep these baby shoes, you put them in a very special uh, treatment, and that's what we did on the shoes. We went to free market to find many pair of shoes, and uh, we sent them to the guy who. We did it and we put tapes everywhere to, to, to show where we want them to be covered. I named the collection Written and Poetry because the first beginning of the collection, I said to my team, um, the thematic will be the rap. Uh, so I wanted a rap movement, street, sporty. and look uh, in the internet and find that rap is a connection between wit and poet po poetry. I didn't know this word means that. So I said, okay, it's more nicer to call it this way than rap. big movement, you know, a lot, a lot of jerseys that you will see, a lot of jersey pieces, um, not too tight, loose, loose um, uh, pants, it looks like they lose their pants, but in fact, it's it stay on, on the underpants, like for example here, you, you see, the, the pants look uh, really down, but it's fixed on the side. And this was the mood, like they lose uh, their pants, you know, you see a lot of uh, young generation that they have their pants and always I'm like, <laughs> he's going to lose his pants. No, actually. But this is the mood, I wanted something from the street. Okay. 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 
Come on, y'all. Let's follow. I try to find a balance. You will tell me if you love it because uh, we were a little bit at, at the same time excited and afraid because uh, it's always like that. Two days before the show, it's like, mm, are we right or wrong? Do we love it or not anymore? Okay. The only one, the original, cannot be broken. This is only for the, the strictly unique. There is a lot of masculine because on the winter I'm really uh, um, um, I love heavy fabric I love really strong pieces but on the meantime uh, last summer was so light and I like it I want it to fill in the middle. You will see this kind of uh, very light fabric, which is one of the more light fabric of the world, five grams a meter, which doesn't exist uh, uh, anywhere. It's so light. You c it, it's even a live fabric. It's, it's, it's very strong because you, you think you can manage it, but the fabric talk. Last season, they, they spray uh, metallic on it. And uh, this one is even more lighter because there is no metal on it. I'm lucky because my team is really cool and uh, I, I'm not uh, abusing because uh, I know that we have such a, a, a small amount of time but when we start too early at the end we don't love the pieces and uh, this season was very special because we did couture and prêt-à-porter so all the team are so tired I say okay I try not to move too much my mind <laughs> but it's always like that yes always the, the last pieces are the best one for us <laughs> 